CBS News on the Hour, sponsored by the Exogen Temporal Scanner. I'm Matt Piper in New York. So far this week, nine states have announced that mask mandates are over, whether in public settings or in schools. Massachusetts will end its mask mandate for schools at the end of the month. New York State's mandate for indoor public settings will also end, but a school mandate remains in effect. In Rhode Island, Governor Dan McKee says that state's indoor mandate will end Friday. My team feels we can safely and confidently take this next step based on decreasing COVID numbers and increasing vaccination rate. Illinois will end its indoor mandate at the end of this month, but will keep it in effect for schools K-12. through Peter King, CBS News. But at the federal level, CDC Director Dr. Rochelle Bolensky says they're still telling people to mask up. Our hospitalizations are still high. Our death rates are still high. So as we work towards that and as we um, are encouraged by the current trends, we are not there yet. It's a no-go for a third day for truckers trying to cross the border from Detroit to Canada. WWJ's Mike Campbell is there. A lot of the trucks that were under and around the Ambassador Bridge on the U.S. side have moved on. Nothing is going from Detroit. Kelly Braven says she can see the bridge from her house and she knows it's a no-go, so she's got alternate routes. No, we're, we're going down, down around Cleveland to Buffalo. I mean, I wouldn't go sit for 14 hours or whatever, waiting to cross the bridge when you can go down around Toledo to Cleveland and to Erie, Pennsylvania over to Buffalo that way. Mike Campbell for CBS News, Detroit. Families who have been impacted by violence at the hands of Minneapolis area police are asking for justice for Amir Locke and his family. He was fatally shot last week when police entered the room where he was sleeping under a no-knock warrant. Katie Wright is the mom of Dante Wright, who was fatally shot during a traffic stop when an officer used her gun instead of a taser. When I see Amir, I see Dante. When I see Amir, I see Jamar Clark. When I see Amir, I see Philando Castile. When I see Amir, I see so many names. Drama at the Olympics. The Russians won gold in the figure skating team event, but there's word their 15-year-old female phenom who landed two quad jumps may have had a positive drug test. Our Steve Futterman's in Beijing. The IOC is saying very little. All it will confirm is that there's an issue involving the Russian figure skating team, which requires legal consultation. Now, there have been some reports suggesting it could involve a positive drug test. If the Russian team is disqualified, the U.S. squad, which finished second in the team competition, would get the gold medal. At the close, the Dow gained 306. NASDAQ was up 296. This is CBS News. Well, that's today's news, today's news. I didn't hear any good news, did you? I didn't think so. I guess it's all about perspective. The glass is half full. Well, as always, I want to thank you again for coming along with me on these Dash Cam News Adventures. You know the drill. Peace, love, and all that hippie jazz. Bye-bye, everybody.